Hey yo together and very welcome to another episode of the Stark of the Crazy Replays. Today of New Newkirk Precinct. If I did pronounce that correct. And this time not with a TVC, but a TVP. Protoss! Boys! So in the bottom right hand side, as the red Protoss, it is Aluton. And in the bottom left hand side, as the blue Terran, it's me playing for Pro Kings, it is Alex Usher. Whoopsie. So let's see what happens in this game. I, I wouldn't show it to you if it wouldn't be something you don't see that often. Like just a standard unranked game or anything like that. That's that's not what I what I'm gonna show you here. However, I'm sure it was played in unranked mode because I, I really don't rank mode. I'm scared of losing MMR and losing uh, so much and then I have to play again and then I get mad. And it's just about having fun and I have most fun if I know I mastered tier 1. Sometimes I get a GM in unranked. That's fine for me. That's fun. That's fun to me. I love playing on this skill level in unranked without any pressure just for myself to know, hey, I need to, I need to be, I need to try my best. But not for points or MMR or anything, but just for myself. That's fine. So this probe is super annoying. Uh, we do see the pylon gate gas nexus. I think maybe the nexus was before the gas. I think normally the nexus is before the gas, but I'm not quite sure here. Don't don't nail me on that one, please. I really don't know. This probe, super annoying. Uh, still... <laughs> <laughs> my micro is so bad. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? Do you see how bad the micro is? Oh wow. Oh wow. Finally the probe dies. Okay. So core finishes. The nexus is soon done as well. Uh, there we see a command center on the high ground. I seem to be super scared. Not sure what kind of build I'm playing here actually. Uh, no no Reaper? Okay, and, and then Starport? More Marines? A, a, a Hellion now? No, a Widow Mine? It looks like, as you can see, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm completely freestyling. <laughs> no wonder my games sometimes are super scrappy if I don't know what to do. Interestingly, Aluton going for a Stargate. So, Oracle Harris. And Oracle, I don't know why no Protoss is playing Oracle. Mm, like, not no Protoss is playing Oracle, that's a lie. But why not all Protoss are opening like this? Um, sure, if there are turrets or widow mines and you lose the Oracle, that's super bad. On the other hand, the Oracle has the Revelation. It has the Stasis Ward trap. And, of course, the Pulsar Beam. But the, the trap is so good. Almost no player still is anticipating the the, the trap. And the trap can... Th this is such an ability, it, it can win you the game. Immediately. Like, you trap one-fourth of, uh, of your opponent's army, you won. That's it. Bam. Um, and there's the oracle. Not doing too much here. Now I'm going... Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, if, if he would have... If he would go across the map with the Oracle, this could be so massive. I'm not sure why he doesn't do it. This is really strange. He could have killed so much, there's no defense, no Marines, no Widow Mines, no nothing. And so, he's... Uh, one of my kills a little bit. The Oracle. Oh, that micro! What? Pulling out the the Bian here, <laughs> you could say. Uh, of course, I'm not as good as Bian. I never will be because I'm not playing as much as him. But that was not too bad. Now I'm losing a lot of Marines. Not microing at all. The Oracle will fall. Hmm. How much did I kill? Six worker and quite some units as well. And more stuff here. And he doesn't have detection now. That's bad. 
One gate is unpowered. So that damage was was good. Was good damage. And we do see M -m -m mech. That's right, guys. Mech is on on the way. Uh, there's a Bandry without cloak. I think I saw an Oracle somewhere. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, the Wither Mine still active here. Beep beep. So I'm not sure what the Banshee will be able to do here. Uh, could maybe get some more kills. Oh yeah, those probes. Not doing too much here. Ah, oh, this Banshee killing so much, even without cloak. He doesn't anticipate it. This is so much pressure on him. I think the Banshee needs to to get out there. ASAP. Oh, baited another overcharge. Some of that's moving across the map, but I do have cyclones now on on dancing dancing patrol command. Look at that. Now if you would have disco music, that would be awesome. <laughs> that's so stupid. It's so stupid. What's that? Magfield launchers. Okay. This game is old, and uh, this episode, those cyclones had only four range instead of uh, the standard six. So you need one upgrade to give them the initial six range back. Uh, yeah, but oh no, he doesn't see those cyclones. So he goes in, surprise, hellions, and lots of cyclones, and oh the medivac micro, he can't kill anything here, just losing lots of adapts. That's not looking good for him. That was wasteful, to say the least. And yeah, uh, Adapt Shade got a nerf to the vision, which is still not what I want to see, because he still can be on, on, on two places at the same time, so all this Shade vision nerf does is increase the, pot the, 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 the coin flip potential. Like, now the protest doesn't know if it's good or not to do it, so he he had the, the the initial the initial uh, how how it's called uh, words man words oh god I, I don't know they were coin flipping before and now they are even more that's that's what I want to say so fighting under a photon overcharge definitely not what I should do Winnerman gets a good shot off but photon overcharge is so strong. And the Vikings landed, they die, the Cyclones got lifted, they die. That fight was so bad. You should never fight on the Photon Overcharge. Like this pylon killed six units! That's massive. That was super wasted. And now he has uh, the air dominance with the Phoenix. You need to be careful. Very careful. Oh, he goes in for the tanks. Little mine, not enough to kill one Phoenix. He gets one tank here. Might get another one. Or maybe not. Counter repair is strong. But it costs a lot of resources. Yeah, the tank. The tank survives. There's another tank here. And the Little Mines. Ah, good splits. Very good splits. But the sentry will fall here. The Immortal as well. Not super strong. And I don't know if it's worth to lose the Immortal for the Little Mine. Oh, wow. Yeah, and now the Phoenix died. This tank still survives. And now Oluton did take a very bad engagement, I would say. Not very bad, but it wasn't the best. Okay. It is three base against three base. Four factories, one starport so far, which is not too bad. And I'm not sure what, what Oluton can do here. Uh, he's still going for Phoenix. Uh, maybe you should go for the the, uh, the the fleet beacon. That could be one thing he he would like to have in this game. I would say there are the phoenixes. Uh, the phoenix trying to get some damage. If they get the barracks, that would be super nasty. Will they get the barracks? Uh oh. Ah. It wasn't too good here. Gets maybe even more kills. No, not quite. But it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I have to say, it wasn't too scrappy at all. Uh, killing some SCVs, that's good for him of course. Not for me. 
But yeah, it looks like it's slowing down a little bit here, this game now. Which is nice. So the barracks did survive. Income wise, 72 SUVs, which is fine. 66 is optimal. If you need more gas, 72 is fine. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Totally okay. Scan goes down, sees nothing. This push could deal so much damage. He goes in, salads don't have charge. They took a lot of damage here. Oh wow, this is looking very bad for Alotorn. Uh, the Immortal get killed. Everything dies. Cyclone is strong here as well. With the lock on, not too good, but still worth it. And I don't think he can win this. However, the Immortal are really good against tanks and Cyclones, as you can see. But this base still, I think, will die. Uh, to the strong force. The pylons not doing too much here, so he needs to evacuate. And now Aluton is not only behind 60 supply, but also lost another base here. His first one, but you get the point, he lost a base, now he's on three base again, three base again. And so far it looks like I am doing a good job with mech. More star ports. This could lead to... Uh, yeah, Raven, potentially. Oh god, <laughs> this turret. I don't know why I'm building a turret here, but... I just do it. Very, very interesting. So another base taken here. Aluton taking a base right here on the top side of the map. Which is not too it, but it gets scouted immediately and he needs to, needs to cancel it. This base is super vulnerable. Those salads without charge are not really helpful, I have to say. He's coming from another side, but he's still, still behind 60 supply. Thor is here! And the Thor is a super good unit. Don't underestimate the, the power of the Thor. Thor, however it's called. Thor is here. And even if he kills all of those. Oh, don't pull the probes against Helvets. Yeah, that's GG. And that's how you can play Mech. Against Protoss. It is possible. You saw it right here right now okay guys that's it with that episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed as always i wish you a very nice day and goodbye hey oh there thank you for watching if you'd like to support me simply hit the thumbs up button do you have any wishes feedback or suggestions put them into the comments below you may also subscribe if you're new to the channel i wish you a wonderful and stress-free day take care bye bye